What's going on, guys? G-Man, Steel City RC. I just wanted to go over a couple updates, upgrades, and stuff that I've done to my Losu buggy. Uh, so check it out. Yeah, guys. I uh, spent a couple weekends putting it back together. Did um, you know? I needed a few upgrades that I noticed was starting to wear. Um, primarily the. Um, let me get a flashlight, man. This thing. It's kind of dark in here, but the drive cup right there for the rear was starting to show some wear and stuff um, that I was noticing, and I've really only used it like a half dozen times or whatever, but while I was in there, you know how that bug goes, put the um, Taylor diffs and stuff in there, the diff um, cases, and the 7075 um, cups for the spider gears that he sells put those in there also um and then changed out the drive cups to the new v2 see how it has the slots in there hopefully i can get you in there you know the v2 with the slots there we go um for the so that way you have two separate uh, spots you can change it out. You start getting wear in one slot, you change it to the other. Um, but yeah, I put those on. Was they, You have to, um, if you want to use the Losi shock tire, um, I, of course it's on my buggy. But if you want to use the shock tire, you got to modify it a little bit. Basically got to grind down this ledge right here. And then notch it a little bit right there for clearance. And that was it. And then it pulled it right on. Um, what else did I have to do to basically... I think that was it for that. Um, I went... like a, I don't know if I not mentioned it, but I put truck arms on here. To try to widen it out. I think I've said it in a few other videos. That you know, It was just rolled real, real easy. Like any little turn of the wheel. Um... It would just roll over and it's just not good because there's not much protection for this engine and stuff you know what i mean yeah i have the spark plug protector but what about the pipe anyway so i like to be able to rip this thing and not have worry in my mind as i'm doing it so went with turtle racing um the billet plastic truck arms the 5t arms and then obviously the fast lane machine axles and then uh I'm using stock links, but I put a kill titanium turnbuckles in there. Um, what else did I do? I think that was pretty much it for that. You know, the drive cups, I did that front and the rear. And then used the turtle racing arms in the front also. These arms are really nice, man. I've never really seen them in person until just I did this, this uh, install. I think eventually I'm going to go ahead and get the um, billet knuckles. It's just for the bearings and stuff, you know what I mean? Basically anything that carries bearings I think should have aluminum in it. But it's pretty wide. It really is. I'm digging it. I'm liking the, the width. Excuse the mess all around my garage. My goodness. I feel so... Uh, embarrassed about it but it is what it is let's give you guys an overhead real quick and then of course the a kill spike tires digging the width man Um, oh, I forgot to mention, I got some bead locks, aluminum bead locks. I went from the, uh, these plastic flimsy, these are, these are flimsy. I was lucky them tires are, are really good as far as ballooning, the A-kill tires. Because look how flimsy these things are. Look at what, I'm just flexing it a little bit and I'm not even, 
you know what I mean? Hardly done anything to it and it's bending. So he's, I'm just like, okay, time to get some aluminum on this thing. But yeah, the AK, the, or excuse me, the, those are the race pace wheels by axis. So like half of them are plastic. If you've never seen these wheels, you know, check them out, man. They're cool as shit. Um, but yeah, half plastic wheel in there. Basically, it's a low C wheel. If you see my finger in there? That's the plastic. And then um, they just made an insert that goes in there that's aluminum, which is that piece there. You know, and then it just bolts on through the bead locks. Now we got aluminum bead locks. I feel a lot more safe about the tire. I feel like it's not going to... It shouldn't have blown off anyways, but I don't know. You get high power, you want some aluminum bead locks. So I went with the inner and outer. Was debating on sending them to uh, Bateman's anodizing to get them blue to go with the scheme. But I kind of like them silver. I don't know what do you guys think. Well, it looks pretty nice. Alright, well, that's pretty much all the upgrades I've done. Uh, you got, just recently. Everything else I already had on here. You know, the ta Taylor top plate and um mod servo mount you know aluminum one and then the uh aluminum um servo horn or excuse me um servo saver vitavon sa aluminum sa uh, servo horn you know aluminum uprights and stuff for the center diff Yeah, and the 40 GT. So I think this should be a little more fun, a lot more stable. Um, once I get it down, I had it on the ground in the garage, but it's kind of an un uneven floor. I think what I'm going to do is take it out into the grass and uh, knock out the alignment that way. All right, fellas, well, I appreciate you guys stopping by, and uh, hopefully I get this thing out sooner than later. I want to um, see how it does, you know what I mean? But I'm going to at least take it out in the backyard and rip it around a few times and get the alignment set up. So, All right, guys, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for some more run videos. Thanks.